Fantastic. 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 What's going on, y'all? So, we're headed from here, West Sacramento, California. I got a red light. I'm loading up. I don't even know what I'm loading up, to be honest. We'll find out. But I had one of those difficult docks uh, because there's a trailer right next to me back here. And their entrance is this way on the blind side. So, I had to, like, make my way into, luckily, these two docks back here. And I was able to go over there and then finagle it right into this hole right here so it wasn't that bad honestly it was a lot better in the outcome than what i thought it would be so i've been telling my dispatch that i've been wanting to go to boise idaho i gotta pick up some uh stuff for the truck you guys will like that um i'm picking up some uh fuel tank straps and mounts to remove these old ones to put the uh, new style ones on which are way cleaner there's only two of them and they're about uh, six inches wide. So it'll clean up the hole underneath the fuel tank. And then once we, like I've been talking about painting the fuel tank. So uh, once I paint the fuel tank, then I'm gonna put those straps on. I'm gonna drill the holes in the frame if need to. I'm not sure, I might, I might not have to. And uh, we're just gonna clean it up, make everything look super clean. And because my truck rides so low, when I'm entering driveways, now I'm not gonna have big old brackets hanging out from the fuel tanks, so they won't be getting caught. Now the only thing that will get caught is gonna be my fuel tank or the strap, but the straps are pretty flat. So, I mean, that's like a good three inches at least, or two or three inches of a strap that hangs down below the fuel tank. So I, I've i only hit it once and I'm not really worried about it. So uh, it doesn't happen as often as I would think, but anyway, or as you would think. But yeah, so we're headed up to Boise, Idaho, and then from there, we'll see where we go. Uh, my trailer is probably pretty dirty. Um, I didn't get a chance to clean it because I was running behind, and my yard's only like 20 minutes from here. But I had some other things to do and run around that I didn't get a chance to sweep it out or clean it. And then tonight, we're also going to be going, like right now, it's like 60 degrees, feels amazing. 60 miles up east from us it's snowing so more than likely we'll be throwing chains so you guys will see that and then uh after that we should uh our apartment's tomorrow night at 9 p.m and it's only like 600 miles from here i think so we have a lot of time and uh i'm gonna leave a little bit later after all the traffic dies down and all the people up in the hills um all the people once they go home and stop traveling because you know how that gets now the only issue I might have is I-80 closing, which is a possibility because it's going to be snowing for the next two days and plus half of today because it hasn't, I don't think it started snowing yet, but it snowed last night. It stopped today and I just got to pick up again at night sometime. So I'm hoping that I can cross it before uh, I have to throw on chains. If not, not a big deal. I brought my chains. I brought everything. So everything's ready to go. But, uh, yeah, so that's enough for me yapping around for about five minutes. Um, I'll see you guys here once we get loaded. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Nothing but good reviews. Let's get it. Oh, there you guys are. How'd you get in here? All right, so I'm just gonna get like, eh, that should be more than enough, I guess. I do like 45 gallons. Um, I don't trust my fuel gauge. So, 
I figured I'd stop here and get some fuel because the traffic out there is like that. So I'm just gonna wing it and get a 48, 49, 50 gallons. I'll get 50 gallons, whatever. And then uh, that should that should last us all the way up to where I'm gonna fuel in Mill City. So more than enough. And I'm sure I had enough fuel to get up there, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, just in case, because it is snowing. So, we'll see. Well, guys, there's snow, but we're not having the chain up just yet. So, I think we're going to make it through free and clear. Just in time to miss all the snow. So, that would be nice. I got new mirror brackets. As you can see, this mirror over here, um, I always tighten it up, but it still kind of gets loose because this bracket right here uh, is not mounted to anything. So when I got sideswiped, it snapped out, and you can't fix it because it's out of the fiberglass. Ripped everything out, and it's really thin. So. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I was waiting on was those mirror brackets and then now Just the fuel tank straps And we should be ready to paint so next month Or not next oh yeah, I guess next month it's already like the 20 something so yeah next month What we're gonna do is uh, paint everything Should be fun It's gonna be a lot of work, but it should be fun because uh, April is coming up and uh, that's when the truck show is. I want to look somewhat pretty. Nice. Good move. You know, I stay getting cut off. Just another day in my life. Well, Alright. I'll get you guys in a little bit, I guess, if something else changes. I've been debating on using the uh, footage off of that camera right there. Like, you know, just kind of like a time lapse. But usually the videos are like 10, 11 hours long, eight hours long, depending on my day. So then I have to crop it down, put it on uh, time lapse. We'll see, we'll see. I'm still learning this whole YouTube thing, how to be better. So I just gotta learn to look at it from your guys' point of view and not be so selfish. But I'll get there. So let's get it. just uh, inside the truck stop it was nice and dry I grabbed all my stuff from the store used the restroom came back got in my truck I started I'm looking down on my phone replying back to a message I look back up and freaking there's just like a bunch of snow coming I'm like oh crap but um yeah man this is what we live for all this white stuff
fresh white powder. There's so many tracks, you can't tell who's holding what line. <laughs> stop it's about 1 30 a.m. or so we've survived mostly everything uh, let's see okay lights are clean I guess a little bit of snow but not too bad snow here now this is the only thing I was worried about. Oh yeah, she's good. Everything back here is good. For most part, all the lights work. Ah, minor details. Now what I like to do is just clean off the tail lights a little bit if I can. Usually, if there's more snow, uh, these things get caked up and uh, pro tip talk about the tip oh, look at that fresh snow but uh if you clean the lights off with uh, WD-40 the snow won't stick to them for most part so and this light stopped working get off the license plate and my fingers frozen it's like 20 degrees Tires are still there, lug nuts, rims, wheels, fuel tank. Would like to knock that off. It's extra weight on the fuel tank. Negative seven out of negative ten, it's not too bad. Oh, pretty good. Just gonna have to wash the windshield right now. And the side windows a little bit in the mirrors oh well, good morning from napa idaho guys yeah snowed last night i idled for most of the night but i ended up shutting the truck off at like eight it's like 28 degrees right now so it's not that bad um yeah i'm about to start the truck let's see this cold start Is she gonna smoke let's see Ooh, that big cam yeah now we're good fired right up so it's pretty cold um i'm actually gonna run the truck to uh put the heater on because i'm about to go shower and i don't want to come back to a cold cab so uh, just being smart so i don't get sick uh nobody should steal the truck 
maybe because I can't lock it from uh, when it's idling, whatever. So we'll see. But I'm just gonna grab my things. I guess well, from what they say on the reviews, there's uh, three showers in there. So um, all these parking spots are pretty much paid spots, as far as I know. I didn't pay because I didn't know until I looked at the reviews. But uh, uh, we'll see. So let's go and uh, get the shower out the way and get some food. Because I'm hungry. Oh, shit. I don't know if it's at the Chevron or if it was here that I looked at the reviews. Oh, boy. Let's find out. So... Reefer is defrosting because it froze everything more than likely. Yeah. It's definitely cold. Look at that. Cold morning. Try not to break my neck. Let's see if you got some showers in here. Thank you. Freezing. All right, well, here's a little quick blue review. Uh, I'm definitely taller in the shower. It's all right. So they keep it pretty clean. I would give them five stars for a trucker's bathroom type of bathroom, I guess. So, um, yeah, see you guys in two seconds. No, I just ran into exactly the couch. Oh, okay. club sandwich they didn't have the fish so i usually don't park at ends but uh it's a good spot so i paid for overnight parking and uh i'm gonna go do my delivery uh, i'm not sure why i paid for overnight parking because i'm not staying here overnight but i guess i just wanted to park in one of these spots <laughs> so screw it but um Maybe I'll just give it off to somebody else. Depending on if my other company where I'm picking up at has parking or not, that's what I was gonna debate on if I'm gonna sleep here or drive the 16 miles from here and sleep over there. So we'll see. But, um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna chill. It's about four o'clock. So, uh, just gonna chill here for I don't know. Whoo, it's cold for the next couple hours, whatever. And then uh, we'll head down to the delivery. So hopefully the delivery goes smooth at Winko, but we'll see about that.
would take my backing. But uh, we got our bills here. Now we're gonna go check in. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a lumper. So I'll let you guys know how much uh, lumper is once uh, once they tell me here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long night. So we'll see. I don't mind staying the whole night here. Um, because of not having anywhere to be. So they can take their sweet ass time. I don't care. So yeah, that's not a big deal, but whatever. Just got our green light on the thingy, but we uh, have to wait for the lumper fee, I guess. So um, I'm gonna go shut the reefer off. No point of your reefer running. And then uh, we're just gonna wait. So that's it. But I, I didn't really want to sleep while I'm unloading because I'm working. Uh, I'm working late, or whatever you want to call it. So um, if I if I want to sleep, if I want to sleep right now while I'm unloading, I would wake up and then I wouldn't be able to go to sleep. So. Uh, go back to sleep after this. So uh, my plan was just to sit here. I had some Taco Bell. And uh, pretty much just wait it out. Get tired. So that way now when I go to where my pickup is in the morning. I'll be ready for bed, you know. So go to sleep. Wake up. Start fresh and early at 8 a.m. is my pick. And then from there we got 800 miles to Denver, Colorado. So... We should see how that goes. All right, boys. We're out of here. So, what had happened was I had to pay Lumper. It was $270. And then, um, now I got to go find my company because the address I pull up is showing the field. So, I'm hoping it's kind of like Amazon where it shows a field because it's a brand new company. So, I looked up the... I know a lot of drivers don't go as far as or as deep as I do into when I'm searching for something, so I don't have to call no broker or dispatch. Um, I look up the year the building or the company was built, and this company shows 2021, so that means it was built last year, so there is a reason for it being a field. So, uh, there's that, so... I think I'm gonna drive there, see what the situation is, and then go back to the truck stop if there's no parking there. Cause I was gonna wash the trailer out. I've been meaning to for a while now, but uh, things just keep coming up where, you know, there's either no truck wash around or the timing is bad. So it's whatever, but yeah. So we're gonna give our gate pass right here to the guy and then uh, just get out of here all right so as I was saying uh, the map just shows this as a field but there's a whole civilization out here so there's Pepsi across the street and then everything back here behind me well pretty much this whole building everything's a field and uh, one crackhead over there in their uh, Saturn. Anyway, so the check-in is right there, which is perfect. And then now, uh, next exit down, there's a there's a truck stop where I stayed at last night. So obviously, instead of uh, sitting here in the middle of nowhere, risking, you know, God forbid, I'm just gonna go down to the truck stop and hope there's a spot that I can actually uh, find parking because it's such a small, small truck stop that, um, well, I guess you probably saw it in one of the other clips. It's just such a small truck stop that there's really no parking. And we're going to try not to fall into the hole back here behind us. I really don't want to call a tow truck at midnight. Yeah, uh, I'm glad I came and found it, so 
that's the beauty of just having some time on my hands and the fact it's you know close because the last thing I want to do is have to wake up early tomorrow when there's all that traffic drive around looking for the company so and if it wasn't here I would have drove to the other two locations that have in the area with the same name but uh, yeah we figured it out so and it smells really bad over here all these uh, factories figured I would make some dinner got a hot pocket in there some ramen noodle Spicy noodles should do. Oh, 2.18, two minutes. Just like that, it's morning time. So we got, we got some tea. We got some apples. It's good for your heart. Something like that. And uh, it's about 7 a.m. So we're gonna go a mile down the road. Hit the dock and probably just lay around, I guess. I don't know who all day load. I'm sure they're gonna be pretty fast at loading. So uh, everybody's getting up, going to work. So bathroom is crowded. You would think these people have a house, you know, that <laughs> that uh. Live around here, they use the gas station, but I guess not. So, yeah, whatever, right? Let's get out of here. We only got about like a mile and a half or so. If we can ever merge on over here, just there's a stoplight there and a stoplight here. If this one's this one's green, this one's red, or this one's red, that one's green. Yesterday I sat here for a little bit until I could get across, but we got it. Anyways, let's get the show on the road. All right, so we got Dorteen. Man, it's cold out here today. Jeez. Um do is go all the way in there's our door 10 right here it's inside the tendons and all that so what we're gonna do is turn it hopefully my trailer is clean enough they're really strict here about Cleanliness and COVID and everything else. So I'm hoping that my trailer meets their standard because out here in Boise, there's only one truck wash and uh, they're closed right now. Uh oh. <laughs> that back door looks like it's about to swing open. I have one bungee holding it. And uh, the bungee is weak, so it's probably gonna break by the time I back in. Let's see. Or maybe by the time I even slide the tent. Oh boy, I don't know what I'm doing today. You, know, you would think, after almost 11 years of truck driving, I would kind of know what I'm doing. Just like that, we got a red light. Only took like two minutes from backing into the door. So, I'm gonna drink my coffee, and I think I might end this vlog here. It's already like 30 minutes long, and uh, I don't know how many people even make it this far, so. With that being said, after I leave here, I'm gonna continue part two of the vlog. We'll see where we go next, and uh, wherever the road takes us, or wherever the rates take us, really, so. Um, I brought enough clothes to last me a couple weeks on the road, so I don't know if I want to stay on the road for Another week or two or if I'm gonna go maybe uh, right now. I'm going to Colorado and by the way uh, I don't know if I mentioned the rates, but 
I got 20 on 100 from Sacramento to Boise. And then from, um, from Nampa, which is 15 miles from Boise, uh, to Denver, I got 4,500. So it's uh, about like 800 miles. So not bad at all. Um, for how bad the rates are right now, after the whole New Year's, usually it's always like this. Um, this is really good. So I'm not complaining. I'll take what I can get. And that's a good amount of money. I, you know, it's not seven grand, but it could be worse. So I could be going for 2000 you know? So I don't get the bright side. I don't let greed get the best of me. So even though I think the rate still pays really good. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you. And I'll see you with the same clothes in the next vlog. Peace.